Hi everyone. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to see about dynamic programming. So, so to understand what is dynamic programming is, we are just going to solve a problem that is a maximization problem where max of z is equal to 4x1 plus 14x2 subject to 2x1 plus 7x2 less than or equal to 21 and 7x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 21 where x1 comma x2 greater than or equal to 0. We are just going to approach this problem in a forward technique. So to solve the problem we have to consider two main things called as stages and states. So what are stages? Stages are nothing but the number of variables used in the problem. Here we are using x1 and x2. So we are just representing stages as 2. And states are nothing but the number of constraints that is, we have only two constraints, we are representing states as 2. So, now we are going to consider a function called f1 in stage 1. We are going to solve for stage 1, that is we are going to solve for, uh, solve for the x1 value first. So, we are going to consider a function f1, 21 comma 21, which is equal to max of 4x1. I will tell you what is this 21 comma 21 and what is this 4x1. 21 comma 21 is nothing but they are the RHS value of the two main constraints given above and this max of 4x1 is nothing but the first half of the objective function this 4x1. Since we are solving for the stage 1 we are taking the first half of the objective function that is the x1 value we are solving for the x1 variable so we are taking 4x1 as the value here now we are going to give this x1 interval 0 less than or equal to x1 less than or equal to b this x1 is defined between the interval 0 and b so we have to find the value of this b to find the value of this b, we have a formula called b is equal to min of rhs of the first constraint divided by the coefficient of the x1 in the first constraint and rhs of the second constraint divided by the coefficient of x1 in the second constraint that is nothing but min of 21 by 2 comma 21 by 7 on solving these two we will get the value of b as 3 that is the minimum value among these two so we are rewriting the function f1 equal to th that is f1 of 21 comma 21 equal to max of 4x1 which is equal to since 4 is a constant move it to the other side 4 into max of x1 and the defined interval you know this is the b value which is found here all done now our aim is to find the value of x1 in the stage 1 so, for finding x1, we are equating x1 equal to min of 21 minus 7x2 divided by 2. This is nothing but keeping this x1 in one side and taking all of the variables to the other side, we get 21 minus 7x2 divided by 2. Similarly, for the other constraint, we are getting 21 
minus 2 x2 divided by 7 which is marking this equation star and again we are rewriting the equation f1 of 21 comma 21 equal to 4 men of 21 minus 7 x2 divided by 2 comma 21 minus 2 x2 divided by 7 all right we just completed stage 1 now we are going for stage 2 that is now we are going to solve for the other variable called x2 Here we are taking the different function called f2, same the RHS values and now we are equating this to the objective second half of the objective function that is z is equal to 4x1 plus 40x2. Now we are taking this 14x2, 14x2 in addition to it this value that is we found this we found this previously so that function is f1 of 21 comma 21 the function of this 4x1 is f1 of 21 comma 21 now 14x2 plus 4 min we are substituting for the function 21 minus 7x2 by 2 comma 21 minus 2 x2 by 7 all right again we are defining interval for this x2 that is 0 less than or equal to x2 less than or equal to b Again, we want to find the value for this b. So, b is equal to min of 21 by 7, comma 21 by 2, which gives you b is equal to 3. The same RHS divided by the coefficient of x1 in the first equation and again RHS divided by the coefficient of x1 in the x2 in the second equation. So there is a difference here we, we are equating to the coefficient of x2 in the constraints. So on equating those two things we are getting the value of v as 3. Then we are writing the function 21 comma 21 equal to 14 x2 plus 4 min of 21 minus 7x2 divided by 2 comma 21 minus 2x2 divided by 7 here the equation is different from the former equations this all things is entirely based on the x2 value and on writing this function we just write RHS of the first equation divided by the coefficient of the first con as a coefficient of the x2 in the first constraint, RHS of the second constraint divided by the coefficient of x2 in the second constraint. Here we are taking the coefficient of x2 and not x1. We are getting the value for b and again we are rewriting the equation. So it is all done. Now here we are getting two parameters so to find the value of x2 we are going to equate these two things that is 21 minus 7x2 divided by 2 is equal to 21 minus 2x2 divided by 7 so on equating 147 minus 49 x2 is equal to 42 minus 4x2 1 not 5 equal to 40 5x2 and x2 is equal to 1 not 5 divided by 45 that is 21 by 9 
and int and that is 7 by 3. So we are getting x2 value as 7 by 3. Now we want to check this value with the b value we got previously. Definitely this should be less than that is 7 by 3 should be less than 3 so that we consider this for the value of x2. Yes, of course, 7 by 3 is less than 3. So, we are just considering this for the value of x2. Since x2 is less than b, we just consider x2 is equal to 7 by 3. So, we just define the interval 7 by 3. So, 7 by 3 less than x2 less than or equal to Three. Now we are going to substitute three different values for x2 to find the minimum of among the three values. That is, we are going to substitute x2 as 0, x2 as 7 by 3, and x2 as 3. Among these three values, we are going to consider the minimum value to be x2. So for men 21 minus 7 x2 by 2 comma 21 minus 2 x2 by 7 in this place we are going to substitute the different values of x2 and we are just going to take the minimum value so on substituting this we get 4 when of that is 3 on x2 is equal to 0 7 by 3 on x2 is equal to 7 by 3 0 and x2 is equal to 3 so on x2 is equal to 3 we are getting the minimum value which implies the value of x2 is equal to 3. All done. Now, substitute x2 is equal to 3 in the star equation. That is, x1 is equal to men of 21 minus 7 into 3 by 2 comma 21 minus 2 into 3 by 7 on equating this we will get 0 which implies the value of x1 is equal to 0 fine now we got the value of x2 and x1 the left out work is to find the value of z so substitute x1 and x2 in the objective function very simple so we get z equal to the x1 value plus 14 into the x2 value that is 4 into x1 value is 0 plus 14 into x2 value is 3 and we get 42 so on the whole we get z is equal to 42 x1 is equal to 0 and x2 equal to 3 and this is the optimal solution thank you for watching